girl. Welcome to another day in St. Louis, Missouri. We're weighing on the bus. And we're going to this orchestra today, later today. But for now, we gotta go to the grocery store because the hotel got some expensive ass breakfast. Like $15 for egg sandwich, right? Yeah. Yeah, crazy, crazy. And supposedly, they had like some coupon if you use them before you booked for a free breakfast. But we didn't know that. And they, they hey, I, it don't matter. They said they had a pool on Costco and on Google Maps, but they don't got it, it doesn't matter. Forget it, because we got other things to do. We got, we got the beach of Florida, that's the place. Courtyard. But, uh, yo. Yeah, we, we were excited to go to the jacuzzi at least at night, but they don't got nothing like that. And right now, we about to take the bus to downtown, maybe get some more ice cream, maybe get some more, some kind of breakfast. They got some guy told us some culinary place. Sounds good. He said it's called the Schmucks Culinary. He said it's a grocery store. He said there's a grocery store and there's a culinary, which is a kitchen. So we're gonna go to the kitchen and see what kind of breakfast they got there too. Hey, we got this place right now. It's called like the the Planet Sub. It's uh, it's pretty cool. The guy in there is really nice. The owner, everyone here has been really helpful and like showing us things around. There's no one's really, no one's really been weird with us. Anyone we ask, they they're willing to help. They showed us some spots like the the coffee shop yesterday, the Planet Sub we just found on the map. We are at a little grocery store and we're about to head over to this park and eat some of this sub. Uh, and some like other stuff we got. But this potato salad got artificial coloring in it, so we don't like that. I mean, whatever, we got it this one time. I don't know why they gotta add artificial colors to, to all these things, like it's weird. Like you don't need to color the food some more, bro. Let it be the color, I don't care what color it is. Unless it's green or something, that's not supposed to be green. Like potatoes. Anyway, we'll, I'll catch you in a few moments. What do y'all think this means? What'd you say? Oh. What is that? I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Let's take a look. This garden is pretty nice. By the way, this kind of grass, I know y'all be seeing it in Florida. This is called zoysia. Zoysia grass is very nice. Very nice and soft and tall. That's the kind of grass I want in my house. I'm gonna have that grass. Oh, look through the eyeballs. Oh, they got some kind of glasses on, like bandage or something. It looks cool from the outside. <laughs> Construction crew didn't get paid, or something happened with the insurance, and they could owe money. And nobody, nobody thinks it's worth buying it. It's like it's, they have to pay like a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, that parking garage is abandoned. We're gonna go back to the coffee shop. We're gonna get some espresso on. That sandwich is really good. You come to St. Louis. You're gonna go to Planet Sub, I guess. <clears throat> if you're gonna go. Are you gonna go? One day, I don't know. I would not have chosen to go in here if it was not for Sierra. So, that's good. yeah, that's cool. This guy has his name oh, everywhere. Oh, no. No, it's fine. Oh, what the heck? Do you see out here? No, I'm the this only. Place? I'm the only tourist in this whole place. <laughs> yeah, it's the same parking garage. Yeah. Wow. Today, I'm 
grateful for the nice, cool weather. There's a nice breeze going on. Yeah, it was hot as fuck yesterday, and now it's kind of chilly. Yeah. Let's find something to be grateful about today in day two of Missouri. For you, whatever you're doing, I'm sure you can find something, anything to be grateful, any little thing to be grateful about. Because when we feel good, we bring good things to us. When we feel bad, we bring more bad things to us. Park Avenue Coffee. This looks like Starbucks. They're all freaking, all coffee shops look like Starbucks these days. One thing I want to talk to you about today is friends, right? And who you're really spending your time with, who you're choosing to spend your time around, because that's going to make a big difference in your life. First, you got to, um, first you got to do what makes you happy, right? You should not have to sacrifice what you want to do, who you, who you are. You should not sacrifice none of this. Is this an advice blog? It is, yeah. Why not? <laughs> um, do not sacrifice who you are, what you want to be for others because then you're not going to do that thing good anyway. So you're really wasting your time. You're wasting who you're helping time or who you're spending time around. You're wasting everyone's time by not being true to yourself. Now, when you want to change, if you're in this kind of mindset where you're stuck with whatever it is that you're doing, like we met a guy at the airport. I didn't record him because we were just talking. Uh, but he, he was basically saying he's like family and kids and he, uh, what? Why would you record him? Yeah, I'm going to record him and be like, yeah, tell us your story. Imagine, <laughs> he's like, what the heck is wrong with these people? <laughs> Why is your, so, so I, I think some people don't mind being on video. Anyway, they, uh, people. yeah, anyway, he, he has a family and, and he's like saying he's tired of his job. He's saying like, oh, like, what do you do here? He's like, he's, like, he's on a business trip and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm tired of it. But he said that he's, he's stuck doing it. I was like, well, you know, you've been working for so long. Maybe you should have some money saved up, a little like cushion. So that way you can leave and do exactly what, what you want to do. And he says he doesn't even know what he wants to do. So he probably hasn't been even thinking about it. My point is if you're in this kind of situation, you can do it. Just believe that you can do it and, you, and have the faith and something will come unexpectedly and you will have it at some point. You just gotta feel it. You gotta believe that whatever it is you wanna do is out there for you and you can do it and you can do it easily not hard it doesn't have to be a hard journey because uh yeah sir you want to go walk on that bridge there's a bridge right there mm, it's like a cool bridge we can walk on there's the metro that's the metro we first got on when we got here and we saw the arch through it it's very beautiful out here they spent they said they really just fixed up this whole area and there's the arch, it's crazy. It's just seeing a huge arch just in the sky, like just for looks, it's beauty. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Point at it, oh, okay, there it is. Cool. Where is it? You were on the other side. Oh. Yeah, they got some different kind of trees and stuff around here. I mean, it's not like Florida trees. Different plants, really different plants. Their grass is really nice here. But yeah, if it's time for a change for you, you know what you gotta do. Just take some deep breaths, take some time for yourself. And... Oh, there's bugs all over this place. Here, you can smell them here. The camera probably they wants to smell good. them too. Go ahead, smell good to smell. They kind of smell like soup. Soupy? <laughs> A little soupy. I don't know, they smell, they do smell nice though. 
There's a lot of flowers on it, wow. I want one of those. If the people that you're spending time around are not motivating you, you're not feeling excited, you're not excited, you're not feeling good about life and excited to do something, then you're not around the right people. Hurry up, it's going fast. What is it? Really warm. It's time to do a little bit of life cleaning. Get that, get all that junk out the way. Maybe start with your room, start with your house. All that junk, get rid of it. Just call that the first step. Cleanse that bad energy out. Honestly, it leaves a residual, it leaves some residual stuff in your mind. Your outside, what you, what's around you, your room, your life, is a visual representation, it's a representation of what's going on inside. So if you can clean out that clutter on the outside to start with something you can control, such as your room, your house, maybe your car, wherever it is you spend your time at, that's gonna help you get rid of this clutter that's on the inside too. And you'll see, there'll be more space in your mind to think about better things. All right, that's enough for, for, for now. We're gonna go look at some more park and flowers. Hello. So we just took a quick rest. I was uh, writing some notes and Cheryl was making some gift. He wasn't, she wasn't making the gift, she was drawing on the gift. And now we're going to head over to there. Oh, it's hard to keep it steady. Yep, Pear Tree Inn. That's where we're going. Sierra's family is there. So we're gonna go see them. Yeah, and they got a pool over there, so we'll probably go to the jacuzzi after. And then we're gonna head on the bus. After the bus, or no, they might drop us off. If not, then we're gonna take the bus, we're gonna go to this concert, and uh, we're gonna see some sim symphony playing their, their music, which is uh, the Final Fantasy what soundtrack? It's a bunch. A bunch of Final it's, Fantasy it's music. An album. An album. So, an update on the manifestation course and coaching. So I actually decided I'll have a course and then I'll do a coaching aspect. So the coaching, uh, it's, it's only probably gonna be for like people who feel like they really need it, but the course should be sufficient enough. Completely sufficient on its own. It'll be nice, it'll be easy. Let's let this truck go by. Yeah, so the course will be completely sufficient on its own. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna have a guide on what to do. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what will be the best shortcut, best way to get the knowledge into your brain. It's gonna have notes that you can look at. It's gonna have the guides, it's gonna have techniques. It's gonna have why and how, simplify. And then I'll probably make a couple videos explaining all of that. So you'll have the notes version and you'll have the videos There they are. I think he did. He did, that's why he's walking over here. So we're inside of the other hotel now. We got, they had some free popcorn. So we just took it. And uh, go ahead. And this is, the, this is the pool of the other place. I mean, it's, it's all right. It smells like heavy, like chlorine. Yeah, it's very chlorinated, but that's not the coin. That means it's dirty. No, it doesn't. Maybe we'll come back, maybe. Oh, or we'll just fill up our stand-up shower with hot water and use that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yo, so we made it to the concert hall. We got a ride from our family, very nice of them. And now we're just gonna wait and we're gonna enjoy the show. Would you take this? No, just her and I. Do you want assistance okay. from your seats? Sure, A7, A8. I need to know if you're center or left. Oh. Oh, I think it's left. Does a? it say on here? 
Yeah, it does. Yep, left. Hey, left. left. Hey, your first row, left. Go down this aisle. Look for the number under your right elbow as you look at the stage. I think we're on the very end.
No, it's just the gain is really high. So you hear the noise floor. Yeah. The show is done. Uh, it was pretty good. And the guy started singing. The conductor. What do you think? How was it? It was good. It was good. She got the approval because she played the game. And I have not played a single one. Too, multiple times. And that right there, that's it. That thing right there, that's a squeaky toy. I had no idea what that was. That's part of one of the songs. Squeaky lemon? Yeah, squeaky. No, it's not a squeaky lemon. We'll, we'll, take, a, we'll take a look at the lemon later. No, we're not. There you are. Who's gonna stop you? Who's gonna stop you? Can you get up and start touching the piano? Not the piano. Yeah, yeah, right. Not the piano. Just a squeaky toy. No. It's not rude touching the squeaky toy. I have some manners. You have some manners. I do. No, you don't. So what? It's not hurting anyway. Yeah, some kind of college. Some kind of college church. It does look really nice. Looks like, uh, looks crazy. Medieval even or something, I don't know. Everything around. There's a lot of churches out here that look kind of medieval. Yeah, so now we're trying to figure out what to do in this area. <sighs> no, I'm not really sure. We're gonna find something. Is it oh we took the photos down? They did it's not right take there. the photos, they didn't take any photos down. Trying to argue with me about that. No. Yeah, they're tripping. Let's keep let's wait, oh you wanna stand right here? Oh, this is where I Let's them. go into the park. They're not gonna be here for a little bit. They have to go down, they have to Okay, it's right there. It's when They're about to hit them. Let's go cross up there. Or you know you can cross right up here. We have our own light. Oh, make them stop. Yeah, we make them stop. Church access. Uh, I guess we can go in. It's a little creepy though. I mean, yeah, it looks cool. It's like a video game. It's like we restart a game. Game, we're going to a building and select crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. How do we even press this button? Is there even a button? No. What the fuck? Oh. Please stand here and wait to cross. Um, when am I supposed to wait? What the heck? I guess well, the light is red. Please stand here and wait to cross. And they got this. Oh, there's a, there's a, sen there's a camera right there. What the heck? It's looking at me. It's got the lights on, but it's like, oh. No, yeah, we're gonna go. What the heck? This is uh, St. Louis University in here. This is it right here. And how do I know it's St. Louis University? How do I know? Right there. That's it right there. Let's go through the grass. I'll probably be here in like 10 minutes or less. Yeah. Because they're not in the hotel. They're standing outside. They're standing outside? They just got free. They haven't even oh. in yet. Hey, I'll get you another um, look at the universe. Yeah, hopefully. Are you going to help this You could film a Batman movie here or something. <laughs> this is one of the few fountains that are on the university, so the water looks good.
Okay, well, that's enough of me.